All right, guys. So what I'm gonna to explain to you today is something that most salespeople do not know. And it's not always to their fault, being that the truck is so new, the technology is constantly training, changing. Turn down the AC here. So right now, I'm in the 1794 2023 Tundra. And mostly right now, I'll in introduce you to everything that's on the instrument gauge cluster and how to work the options in that. So if you go on the left-hand side of the wheel, scroll to the left, scroll to the right, that'll go between the options that you see here on the left. All right. so you have the main screen is the leaf here once you're on the leaf it goes between two different tabs so it'll show your distance to empty distance to empty and also your average miles per gallon that's going to change obviously you're going to get a lot better than 3.1 miles per gallon as you go to the right again it'll go to the next tab so that's your compass you go to the right again, that's the audio. If you pull down, if you push down for source, it'll bring up the AM, the FM, Sirius XM, it'll go to your Bluetooth, if you have your phone paired. And then if you go to the next one, so this one is, this one is big. Now, the, this is mostly for if you're towing. So if you hold okay for the trailer settings, you could add or select a trailer, add a new trailer, you could add, um, multiple ones in there and then edit delete things like that from but also on there if you scroll down it'll go to your um so selective modes for the uh, trailer so the auto for length status not active obviously because not we're not uh towing right now and then if you hold down okay it prompts you to add the uh, trailer and if you scroll down again It'll show your trip distance, your total total drive time. And then if you scroll down again, this is the last tab on that on that tab. It's uh, the uh, tire pressure, obviously. And then if you scroll to the right again, so these are all of your uh, safety features. If you had any Toyotas in the past, you probably know a lot of these and maybe also possibly not. So the top one is LTA, that's Lane Tracing Assist. Hold that down, that'll proactively try to keep you in your lane. It's off right now, you have an option to turn it on. Alert on is for the uh, sensitivity. You could adjust that. And then the sway warning, if you're going out of your lane uh, too much, it'll ask you if you'd like to take a break. And let's hit the back button here. So the, pre the uh, PCS is the uh, pre-collision system. There's some more vital information in this, in this that I'm gonna go over too. So I would definitely uh, try to hang in with me. Um, so the PCS is a pre-collision system. If any car in front of you stops short, it'll tighten up your seatbelt, give you a brake jolt. If you don't brake in time, it'll brake itself. Let's turn that back on, make sure it's on. BSM is blind spot monitors. If any car is in your blind spot, it's gonna light up in your side view mirror. And then sensors for the parking. So in this one, the 1794, it has the option. I mean, it has the options, of course, to uh, Beep if you get close to anything in the back and also beep uh, if there's anything in the front. RCTA is a rear cross traffic alert. If any cars in your, um, if you're all backing up, any uh, car is coming, a uh, uh, person on a bicycle is coming, it'll beep, it'll give you a brake jolt. If you don't brake in time, it'll just give you actually a brake jolt. So it's always up to you to brake. And then the RSA is a road sign assist. It'll let you know the uh, speed limit of the road that you're on. And let's see, customize right side. So this is all for trailer settings. Uh, this is very important to know, especially for towing. So you could custom the uh, boost gauge, customize right side. Let's pull down on that again. Pitch roll, tow gauges off, trailer settings. Again, it's prompting you to add one trailer light check and I'm probably okay trailer light check will cycle the turn signals and brake 
All right, and then it'll go between the options here. So let's see, we're gonna go over again the uh, messages. If you need an oil change, anything like that, that's gonna pop up. You have your volume up and down here. And then to the right, this is also important. Let's see here, try to focus a little bit better. The uh, lane departure alert that beeps if you're going out of your lane. The cruise control, if you have the cruise control on, you set your distance. It'll set the uh, distance in front of you. And then you hold, you press down for set. All right. And if also, if you're towing, this is also very important. Again, try to uh, stay tuned. So you have the uh, gain for the uh, tow hitch. So it kind of works like that. And then you could up and down. And then also here, you have it for the uh, towing. Um, the bird's eye view camera. There's a camera in each of the front doors and in the front and, and in the back of the truck. So it gives you a bird's eye view of the uh, truck itself. That's obviously a stock picture. Traction control, hazard lights, traction control, hazard lights, locking rear differential. And right now I'm really just trying to focus on the off-road stuff. Right now down here you have your drive modes. So if you, if I'm gonna, so I'm gonna turn those, it'll go between eco, normal, sport. And then you have your two high, four low, four high, MTS multi-terrain select, crawl control and the uh, tow and haul here and then here just cup holders wireless phone charger here and let's see this digital rear view mirror have that there and then also under settings for that this is pretty informative because not a lot of people know this so you can scroll this up and down Make sure it stays in the middle. And then if you press this one again, it'll go between the options here. You can go left and right. Go again. It'll go like that. And again, for search, automatic dimming mirror is on. If anybody has their brights on the back of it, it automatically dims down. Garage door opener setup, that's important. So you have three different garage doors that you could program and to flip this off you just flip this back and up here you have your uh, sunroof to open uh, the shade to go back the uh, roof to wall uh, pop open too you have the um, a little bit extra space let's, let's look at this here and let's see you have a night mode here automatically dims down and guys if you stay tuned and subscribe and like if you found this helpful i'm going to be posting more uh, videos on uh tutorials especially for the infotainment center here because there is a ton of information in this so hit the uh, like button if this one if uh, this video helped you out and subscribe and definitely uh tune in because i'm going to go a lot more in depth into the uh, tundras and then also when the uh, 24s come out, uh, you'll be one of the first ones to um, watch the uh, videos that I'm going to make that are uh, going to explain everything. Thank you.